And here we go again for another amazing session with our product management around our new Agile OS version 12.5.0. Christian, you are with us. Which great stuff are you bringing with you? Yeah, hi and good day all. Um, of course, again, a huge pleasure to share some details of our upcoming IGL OS 12 base system. This day we released 12.5.0 um, and the 12.5.0 will make us ready for the future. So with that release, we will move to Debian 12, aka Bookworm, as we are receiving security fixes and updates in these regards in an earlier way with that base. And um, as security is one of the main topics of IGL OS, this is this is mandatory for us. So, but of course, um, we stay compatible to Ubuntu 20.04 and 22.04. So all current available apps will work also with the new base, um, so with 12.5.0 as well. And in these regards, in addition to the base system release, a compatibility app will be offered. This is a dependency app, so no handling is required. That means that the system um, will use and automatically install this app if the corresponding binaries are required. So quite easy, quite handy, no difference for the user. Of course, also a minor kernel update will be offered due to related security fixes, and of course, all further possible security related fixes as well. Proxy support on system level will be now re-implemented, supported also from OS 11. Um, proxy can be used then for base system and apps, and also usage of pack files for the proxy config is possible to use with that feature. As mentioned, this was ported from OS, IGL OS 11. And also here to make IGL OS 12 ready for the future, we move, besides of the upgrade to Debian 12, also to Pipewire as new audio server. So no pulse audio anymore is definitely quite outdated. And with the new and modern implementation of Pipewire, we will have a lower latency and more compatibility, especially when using Bluetooth audio devices. Yeah, and as we are offering more and more browsers as app for Agile OS 12, we are also focusing on providing more options in these regards. One of that is the added default browser handling. So with that, the corresponding browser is open when clicking links, uh, is used for SSO. So when you're using the um, SSO for local authentication, these credentials can be used then in this browser. And we are offering an easy switch to change secure browser config to a more open one. So downloads or cookies are possible. Um, bookmarks can be saved, printing, multimedia and website is offered if the default option is set. So overall, with that one parameter, user has a regular browser with regular functions and options. So it makes the config way easier. So this will be um, then initially offered with um, the initial release of Microsoft Edge browser. This is currently in the QA and will be offered in the very next time once QA is passed. So yeah, looking forward to it's definitely a nice browser with a nice new option for that. And um, maybe you have seen that. So this release of the 12.4.2, so the rolling release. And of course, also with all later and newer releases, we are offering limited support for devices with two gigabyte RAM only, and at least one gigahertz dual core CPU. So these are fine to use for, I would say, classic VDI, but without any multimedia content or unified comms. Um, of course, all the usage of browser is not supported. Um, please see the mentioned reference article in our knowledge base for all and full details. Uh, and also here we are offering further usage um, of outdated devices with this offered support. But of course, only if use case is suitable. This, this, I told, this, this device. Yeah, hold on, Chris. And that's great stuff for people who are using, I mean, let's say low power devices like UD2, special thanks to Leon and Milan who are listening maybe to this, um, mean that reusing, repurposing such kind of devices would be possible now, right? Yes, exactly. But as mentioned, cool. so it depends on the use case, but classic VDI Absolutely. use case, that's definitely possible. Very good. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. Please um, try, and as mentioned, so we tried it also in the QA. One device is officially validated for that scenario, and this is the Dell VAS 3040. Uh, and of course, if customers see demand for offering official support for a limited use case as well, that can be offered via feature request. So the sales and presets colleagues of IGEL from IGEL know how to do that. 
Okay, um, so with Agile OS 12, you're focusing also on software as a service solutions applications, which means we need to offer an easy to use operating system with all user relevant options available directly on the desktop. So an operating system which have uh, local unified communication solutions and browsers in place, so just select the solution in the version you need. And of course, it's necessary to offer a nice usable base system and operating system and therefore, so to increase the, the usability of HLOS, we are offering the tray apps. Besides of the nice design, so all the user-related settings are accessible and easy to use via tray apps. And so also with this release, we are offering further and new possibilities. So we have now the printed tray app. This of course requires a CUPS app as technical base. Uh, and with this new tray app, it is possible to search uh, and of course use local or via network connected printers. Printers can be also manually uh, added, and furthermore, the app provides also an overview of running and queued print shops. So it's a quite easy and handy app for printing directly on HLOS. Don't say only quite handy, it's extremely handy, Christian. We, as you might know, people who are listening, we just came back from the Disrupt event in Munich with a lot of end customers, partners uh, coming from the EMEA region. And guess what? The Tray app was a small enhancement, maybe from a development perspective, but a huge enhancement from our customer base regarding usability of our Agile operating system as a operating system and not a thin cloud operating system anymore. So big kudos to the team of development and also product management for making that possible. And we got a lot of great feedback around the new display configuration tool, which also helps a lot. But let us let me come back to uh, the Bluetooth and Print Center. So that means that all the scripts which are out there for uh, installing automatically a printer without having a lot of interaction possibilities for the user are history now, right? So I could, as a user, just search from my device and add it from the Tray app to my local configuration. Is that correct? Yes, exactly. So that's the wow. purpose of that. And yeah, as mentioned, it makes things easier. So everything the user needs is directly on the desktop via Tray app. And as mentioned, usability is a huge topic. So we want to offer the operating system for the daily usage without any VDI connection. So you have everything in place you need for the daily usage for your daily work. Without and even in these regards. Yeah. And especially, uh, I'm just looking at the screenshot for people who are just listening, I would definitely recommend to look at your browser or look at the video right now because you see there is a job uh, piece of the print center. So you can also manage the actual printer queue and so on. So yeah, it just blows my mind because it makes things so much easier. So great job, guys. Love it. Thanks a lot. I will forward that definitely to the team. Thanks a lot. Um, yeah, you mentioned also, also Bluetooth is now offered via new tray app. With that, uh, new devices can be easily connected and paired. Extra benefit is that the battery status of the connected Bluetooth devices is visible via the already available battery tray app and the now available um, audio Bluetooth profiles are possible to use due to the new audio server pipe wire. So these um, audio profiles can now be selected via the audio tray app. So you see with all new implementations, we are offering one complete and quite perfect solution. Everything goes hand in hand for offering the full range of options. And um, no, oh, sorry. And um, of course, hardware support, always a huge topic for us as we want to offer the best possible hardware support for x86 based endpoints. And besides of offering support for older devices, we are focusing on support of most current and new platforms of our partners as well. Um, so with the 12.4.2, we offered official supports for the current LG Cram models in different sizes and also for the current Lenovo ThinkPad L14 generation five. And with the latest patch release, and of course, so also with the 12.5.0, two stationary Lenovo devices are added to the list. So Sync Center M70 and M70 5Q in current generation are also officially supported now. And support for virtual environments is added and ported from HLOS 11. So using HLOS with a VM, VMware VirtualBox or, oh, excuse me, with Oracle VirtualBox or VMware Workstation is officially supported again. So just 
hold on a second, Christian. Yeah. So for people who are listening, we are not talking about having Oracle Virtual Box or VMware Workstation running on iGerald OS, but the opposite way. So if you have a lab, if you have a specific, let's say, perimeter devices where you just need to install iGerald OS on them to make your tests, that's where this new virtual environment support is helping you a lot because now you have the official support for running Agile OS in this hypervisors for Agile OS 12.5. So that's uh, especially for our resellers and technical folks who are listening, extremely helpful because now you can, let's say, be assured that everything or at least most of the features should work even in a virtual environment. So that's cool because that's how I'm using Agile OS mostly, to be honest. Great. Yeah, perfect. So yeah, and basically that's it. So of course, um, upgrading the base system was a huge step for us. But as mentioned, so then the, the topic of that release make IGLOS ready for the future. And therefore, we upgraded the base system components um, to Debian, but of course, also the audio server, just to be ready for all further releases of IGLOS 12. Very and that's good. It. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Christian, for taking the time to share the news around the new operating system. And let's say this way, I'm more than excited to see what comes next. Thank you very much, guys. For all our listeners, I wish you a great rest of your week and see you soon. Thanks a lot. See ya.